A car that comes off the production line is complete. It has all its parts. That is true. A baby in the maternity ward too. No, that's wrong. It lacks some parts, parts that will only come afterwards. These are the bacteria. They are very small, very numerous. There are 100 trillion of them in our body. They are alive and not strictly speaking our person. Yet they live within us and form the equivalent of an additional organ. The microbiota. Very real and weighing about as much as our brain, it is often called our second brain. The microbiota is found here, in our intestines, rather at the end, where it ensures numerous vital functions, immune functions, digestive functions, physiological functions. We live in symbiosis with this stranger, 100 trillion bacteria, two thirds of which we don't know today. Indeed, it's only recently that researchers have begun to understand certain things about our mysterious companion. Professor Canny's team takes part in the effort, and today, that team has found a new bacterium, Desosmobacter welbionis. How do you find a new bacterium? Well, we simply collect a stool sample immediately after it leaves the intestine. So, yes, in the laboratory. And for this research, everyone in the team gave a piece of themselves. In a sample, there are a lot of bacteria. If a bacterium were a card and the sample was a card game, then the deck would be this high. So you have to split, 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 or dilute to end up with a single bacterium, an isolated bacterium, that must then be cultivated to obtain the desired number of copies. And of this bacterium, we then try to read its genome. If a bacterium were a car, the genome would be the vehicle's papers in the glove box, the information of the bacterium. It is with this object that looks like a small household appliance, a sequencer, a machine that revolutionizes science that we were able to read the DNA code very quickly. Yes, you know, that one that is written with only four letters. Then, thanks to computers and databases all over the world, this code is compared to all that are already known. And if there's no match to anything known, bingo, it is the discovery of a new bacterium. We can then give it a little Latin name and it goes into the worldwide directory. That is good, but it's not so crazy. In fact, what we are really looking for are bacteria that could be useful for humanity. And this is the case for the one that we are interested in here. Actually, this bacterium is not that rare. 70% of the population has Desosmobacter in their gut, but it's almost absent in obese diabetics. Amazing fact, by giving this bacterium to obese and diabetic mice, researchers were able to improve their health. That is great news, and that was the goal of this research, which is proving successful today. Humans have always been looking to expand their knowledge. Some go to Mars to analyze samples, but sometimes it is much closer to us, in our poo, that we find knowledge that we hope will one day be able to help humanity.